Boxing or fist fighting is a fighting system where two combatants compete using only their hands. Boxing matches, which consist of a number of one to three minute rounds, are supervised by a referee. In a boxing match, there are three ways to win. First, a knockout. Second, a technical knockout. That is, when the referee decides that a fighter has sustained too much damage to continue, or the corner throws in the towel. Or third, a decision based upon the opinion of ringside judges or the referee. Boxing has a long history dating back to Sumerian culture in the 3rd millennium BCE, and it is mentioned in Homer's epic, The Iliad. It was one of the sports featured in the ancient Greek Olympics in the 8th century BCE. In the original Greek Olympics, to protect their knuckles from injury, boxers wrapped their hands with leather straps. The practice of boxing spread with the expanse of the Roman Empire. However, during the 6th century CE, boxing was banned throughout the Roman Empire bare knuckle boxing or prize fighting would reappear and spread in popularity in 18th century England. The contemporary expression of the sport of boxing emerged out of the London prize ring rules of 1838 and the Marquis of Queensbury rules in 1867. With these rules in place, boxers could no longer wrestle, headbutt, or strike the groin, among other prohibitions. Prize fighting took its last turn toward modern, modern boxing with the advent of the boxing glove. By the middle of the 20th century, boxing spread in popularity through radio broadcasts of championship bouts. It was not uncommon to find large groups of family and friends gathering around a radio to hear the blow-by-blow -blow accounts of their favorite gloved gladiator. Champions like Joe Lewis and Rocky Marciano became international celebrities, and with television, the notoriety of boxing champions only increased. With the unexpected popularity of mixed martial arts, or MMA, in recent years, boxing's long-standing control of the competitive combat market has been challenged. Plagued by rumors of corruption and fragmented federations, it is unclear whether boxing will continue to be able to compete with the rising threat of MMA. Nonetheless, boxing techniques remain integral part of an MMA fighter's technical training regimen. The punching combinations, footwork, head movement, and other tactical elements of boxing have all proven to be important weapons in the MMA fighter's arsenal. While the unique demands of solo combat with a fist require the entire body to be in prime condition, certain muscle groups require specific attention during the physical preparation for competitive boxing. Shoulder strength is crucial for increasing the efficiency in the application of boxing techniques. An increase in shoulder strength enables improved punching power. Moreover, many boxing neophytes discount how difficult it can be to keep your hands up into the later rounds. Shoulder strength helps the boxer to keep his hands up and his chin protected well past the normal limits of fatigue. Core strength is essential for punching power, movement, and defense. A significant amount of, st of the strength of a correctly thrown punch is generated from a twisting movement in the core. Additionally, the movements of slipping and dodging punches require tremendous core strength. Lastly, a boxer must have strong abdominal muscles to endure the punishment of a well-timed body blow. Neck strength is often discounted by some of the more modern boxing training regimens. However, strength training for the neck is crucial for conditioning the neck to endure the impact of head blows. An increase in neck strength could lessen the impact of an opponent's punch. To build your neck or your shield, check out our book, Tactical Shield Training, by clicking the link below.